A part of coming to college is being able to show off that TCU pride on your car. But TCU Chief of Police Stephen McGee says it's what's inside your car that's more important, not what's on it. Basically, if you leave anything valuable in your car, in plain sight, the chances of your car getting broke into are extremely high. According to 2009 TCU police crime statistics, burglary and theft of motor vehicles were the most prevalent crimes on campus, with almost a third of all cases occurring in the freshman parking lots. I think that's because they leave a lot of valuables there. Uh, they can come in off of the, the back way off canning during the day. We're, we're finding a lot of them are in the late afternoon before we lock the gates. Some students think that their car is unlikely to be the target of theft. I was still wasn't concerned because I knew there was people with nicer cars than me, and so they were probably more likely to get broken into than mine. Other students simply feel safer being out of the freshman lot and into an area where people are around much more. I feel like over here in the Greek, everybody's in this area for the most part, and it's surrounded by housing, so that makes me feel better about it. McGee says police have prevented a lot of crime in parking lots with the help of cameras, patrols, and gated entrances. Burglars, of course, look for access, you know, but they also look for, for opportunity. And if, if every one of our students were to lock everything up or take it with them, they'd quit coming here. McGee hopes in the future, car thieves will face harsher punishments. It's become such a problem that, that the police chiefs have all lobbied the state legislature to um, change the law where more punishments given for, for when these people are caught. So the permanent solution is arresting them and convicting them and actually having a punishment. To prevent having your car broken into, police say you should hide all belongings inside, no matter how invaluable they might seem. Carrie Fetzko, TCU News Now.